Alright, what's up boys? Uh, today we're gonna be going through my settings. I got a comment on my last video and someone asked if they can see my settings, like my controller settings quickly, and uh, you know, my FOV and the reasons why. So just gonna quickly go through that. Um to start it off, I play on controller. I've been playing on controller since 2007, the original COD 4. Um, just a basic default controller, nothing special, but I do use a high-rise control freak on the right side. That is the tallest control freak that you can buy pretty much so i use a high raise control freak on the right default controller and we're just going to jump straight into the settings and give my reasoning behind them so i've always been well for the most part i've actually always been a kind of high sense player i've always ran high sense in the older cod games because the dead zones in those old cod games were so um were so high so you had to really like move your stick to move it so like when we're talking about Black Ops 4, uh, or not Black Ops 4, like BO3, Infinite Warfare, uh, all the old games that have uh, like a higher dead zone, and even like before that, I would always run close to like a 10. I think even in Ghosts, I think I played on 18, I really had it dialed in. I played 18. Um, so yeah, I've always played a high sense, but now that you can actually dial your dead zones and be super precise with your aim, then I've sort of dropped my sensitivity down, but we'll get to that in a small second. So for my button layout, I play on, uh, where even is it? Uh, button layout, here we go. There's a separate tab, of course. Look for, of course, there's a separate tab for button layout, but here we go. I play for, I just play tactical for DMZ and just default, just tactical button layout. Don't really mess around with this i know a lot of people switched to bumper jumper or stick and move uh when it came to the jetpack games uh but i've always played claw like ever since called four i've always played claw and i've never really had an issue with it so i played tactical button layout never really changed it from then um yeah and that's pretty much how i've played i play on ps5 so trigger effect is off that's the haptic triggers shit's ass uh, for my sensitivity here is my sensitivity right here i play 66 cents and uh 0.75 ads um i know for the entirety of warzone 1 and i still get comments even on my streams today um i used to play on 44 sensitivity like so i used to play this used to be my old sense used to play 44 and then 0.7 which was like really like ridiculously slow and the reason i upped my sense was because it was just way too limiting like there's only so good you can get on 4.4 4. um i feel like i upped my sensitivity and it was pretty miserable for the first like couple of weeks but i feel like after those couple of weeks of adjusting to the new sensitivity i i can definitely tell that i have got better as a player and it's just been a lot better so i run 66 cents 0.75 i think that's the best for me personally i know a lot of people you know like higher sense or they don't like when their aim down state sense is too slow but i've been using slow sense for a few years now so this is actually not even that slow to me and i even run this on multiplayer too if you're playing multiplayer mainly you may want to go to 0.8 uh 66 0.8 i think that's probably better but i i like to keep it on 0.75 just to keep it consistent uh, for for war zone and then pretty much everything automatic tax sprint off i don't use auto tax sprint um priorities interact and apply all plates you want these for war zone that's pretty self-explanatory to be fair aim assist i just use default aim assist default like i said i don't mess around with it dynamic game response curve i literally only use dynamic uh, i literally only use dynamic because everybody says to use dynamic um, I think on Warzone 1, actually, on Warzone 1, the whole way up until Caldera, so any of my Verdansk gameplays and any gameplays that I was on 4-4 four, four sensitivity, I actually ran standard, so I've got over a 1,000 wins on Warzone with standard aim response curve. So, personally, I think it's all preference, whatever, you, whatever you'd like. Um, I've switched to dynamic. I don't really, I don't really notice anything. But yeah, uh, let's see, here's my dead zones right here. I run two on the left stick and 0.7 on the right stick. 0.7 on the right stick is actually pretty high. And I run this no matter what, no matter if it's a brand new controller, no matter if it's a broken controller, I run 0.7 always. I don't know why, I just never change. I just put it on 0.7 because I got sick drift. 
and just never changed it it just felt good so that's a pretty weird one right there all right so all right so for movement here is what i use so i use my tax sprint behavior i use single top to run so what that means is it's not it's not auto tax sprint but if i click the sprint button once it just tax sprints so it's like best of both worlds you don't get fucked over by auto tax sprint so you can still use shotguns and slow bot run uh to be silent but you can also tax sprint fairly quickly and that's pretty much all my satins in controller satins I don't really have any I don't really have any other satins to really go over. Uh, another big question that I always get is my um my FOV. I play on 90 FOV. I don't know. It just if for for COD it feels weird. I feel like my sensitivity and just the overall feel uh of the game changes. Uh would I recommend playing on 90 FV? Probably not. I probably I probably play on a hundred. If I was to recommend a, a field of view, I would probably play 100, but I'd like somewhere in between and just play 90. I, I, I don't know why. It's, it's just preference. I, it's just it's literally just preference. For the graphic settings, though, I know you want on-demand texture streaming off always. Turn off motion blur, weapon motion blur, get film grain all the way off, depth of field, get that off, and then fidelity cast. Put this on and put it to 100. That's what I've did since launch. Uh, you could go like maybe, you could go like maybe 80. I've seen people play 80, but I like they put it all the way up. This just makes your game super, super clear. And I feel like a lot of people don't change these graphic settings and their game just looks like ass. Also, your first person camera movement and third person camera movement, get this all the way to least because you don't want to, you know, you want to give yourself a fucking headache just running around the map. Eco mode, get that off. That's That's actually a new setting. That's actually a new setting that they added, and that actually hinders performance. And I didn't even know it was, I didn't even realize it was actually available on console, but get that off. That shit's ass. Uh, for my audio, I don't know. I run headphones bass boost and 42% audio. Uh, because I play on console, I don't use, um, I don't use, uh, sound EQ. Um, and it's weird though, because everybody says the audio in Warzone is garbage. The audio on Warzone is this, that, and the other. But to be honest, I, like I obviously I still died in no audio, obviously. But I feel like I hear everybody for the most part. And I so I would always use headphones on any game, headphones or whatever the standard like mix is. But for Warzone two, I switched to headphones bass boost, and brother, I swear I can hear everything. For the most part, uh, voice chat. I turn all this shit off. I don't all that proximity nonsense. But yeah, that's pretty much all my. That's pretty much all my satins. Um, all right, boys. That's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys. Hopefully, this helped you in any way. And let me know if you try these satins. Let me know if the. Uh, let me know how they feel uh, for you. Um, but yeah, it's been me, Mister Mo. I appreciate you guys stopping by the video. I appreciate you guys spending your free time watching my content. If you've made it this far. Odds are you've enjoyed it. Smash a like and uh, leave a comment on what your current sensitivity settings are in the game. But yeah, it's me, Mo. Take it easy, boys.